Okay, so now what we're going to do is look at a few tools that I'm going to allow you to use on this lesson. And they are the following. Clip Curve. Okay. H Polish. S Polish. Flatten. Smooth. And Move. Okay, and you can use any variation of move. I don't care. I just want you to stay within the move section um, over here. By limiting your amount of brushes that you can use, it doesn't hinder you at all. What it does is make you a little bit more savvy about using uh, what you have at your disposal. Okay, when you start getting into these brushes and know that there's 15,000, it feels like, of these brushes didn't try to use them all at the same time you know I would argue that uh, you know the standard one you know I could do a lot with the standard brush you know why because you know I never had any of the other tools at my disposal at one time so now I'm a little bit more savvy at the standard brush than the new person jumping into ZBrush 4 that has 28,000 brushes which is good because now I don't have to keep constantly switching brushes all the time so we're just gonna look at the ones that are able to smooth polish flatten and make into you know and we'll extrapolate from that so here's how you could possibly use these tools and you can use the smooth I, I put that out there so if I have a form change like this okay and I want to go in here and smooth that out well I could take the H polish brush and that for this I'm going to take off pilot polyframe and I can go in here and really go to town on blending these two forms together in such a way that it looks believable that along with smooth can produce a lot of different form changes okay keep in mind you know maybe I want a change that goes from a drastic change like this not such a smooth change well this this allows me to smooth this form and take this form and then smooth and smooth okay so that's how you produce maybe a hard edge form against another hard edge form I'm going to add one more brush to your arsenal only because I think it will help you out and that is the pinch brush okay and the pinch brush allows me to go in here and, and basically pinch these two forms together and then it really does look like uh, another piece coming off of the first form okay so that pinch brush is pretty amazing So there's one possible way to use the brushes. Now, what's the difference between H polish and S polish? Well, S polish will smooth along with the polish. So, if you look at this that one for a second, which I, right here, as I polish, instead of leaving such a hard edge form, this one really blends the two forms together. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. So now I'm getting no flattening of the area whatsoever. But a nice polish. And if you have to get details out, uh, you can hold shift and then S polish it. So I'm smoothing and then S polishing it. So that's a good way of erasing detail. So what I want to see here is good transitions between forms. A zen-like quality to your transitions on form. 
like this not so zen like it's all bent up so you know in this area what would be easier is probably going down a little bit on your levels holding shift and smoothing out this area and then going up high and realizing that that's now gone and then you could take the S polish brush and smooth it out and I'll show you examples of what I, I kinda wanna see in this lesson in the Nexus uh, in the actual assignment when I assign you an assignment I'm just showing you techniques right now basic techniques okay and flatten well flatten just does that it flattens the area so if you're you're looking for a very harsh change between two forms and you want to keep and maintain that flat surface that's the way to do it what I would suggest to do is you can flatten this area out but then you can take the S polish and H polish brush and if I polish it a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side I can really get that really flat surface that I'm looking for hit it home with the pinch brush and lazy mouse pinch brush and lazy mouse work really good together in the fact that now I can take and pinch this top surface giving it an ultra hard edge okay so there's just a few uses now meet me in the next video where I kinda give you your assignment